it comes to race photography, Tim Davala is the best in the business. We started by asking him to select his favorite images from the year. He provided us with a selection of about 100. From there, we looked for photos that really captured the essence of a particular race or a moment in time that defined the 2015 season. They're presented here in chronological order. Well, it was a particularly nasty edition of Dwarfs or Vlanderen this year with wet roads causing crashes throughout the race. Katusha rider Rudiger Selig went down in an early pileup straight into a drainage ditch. He emerged looking like the Swamp Thing and Tim Davala captured it perfectly. Intense winds took a toll on everyone at Ghent Welbegem, including Team Sky's Garrett Thomas, who put in a valiant effort to keep the bike upright after a crosswind blew him off the road. He wouldn't succeed, but fortunately he had a soft landing. In the end, only 39 riders finished. Garrett Thomas bounced back from his crash to finish third. Now, fortunately, this image of the Peloton crossing train tracks at Perry roubaix wasn't followed by mass fatalities. But this photo shows just how cutthroat the queen of the classics really is, as well as the risks pro riders are accustomed to taking. When Australian Simon Clark stopped to give his front wheel to compatriot Richie Port in the final kilometers of stage 10 at the Giro d'Italia, it was the wheel change heard around the world, and Tim Davala was there to capture the moment. And though many viewed it as an act of altruism, the race jury saw it differently. Port was docked two minutes, and it was the beginning of the end of his GC bid at this year's Giro. Alberto Contador wore the Maglia Rosa for 16 days at this year's Giro d'Italia, but he never won a stage and his overall victory appeared to be in doubt on the steep dirt roads of the Colle della Finestre, the penultimate climb of this year's race. Contador could not follow attacks from Astana's Mikel Landa and Fabio Aru, and he crested the Finestre alone, with the entire race hanging in the balance. Vincenzo Nibali didn't win stage six of the Criterium du Dauphiné. That honor went to Rui Costa but the Italian national champion did take the race lead after attacking more than 100 kilometers from the finish in the driving rain. Costa took the stage win from a select breakaway group that also contained Tony Martin, Alejandro Valverde, and Tony Gallopin, although Martin had been dropped by the time Tim Davala took this photo. On stage four of the Tour de France, Tony Martin took a solo victory on a teammate's borrowed bike to wear the maillot jaune for the first time in his career. Sadly, his tour came to an end just 48 hours later, after he clipped wheels on the finishing climb into Le Havre, breaking his collarbone. This image of his Edix Quickstep teammates helping him across the finish line captures the emotion and camaraderie of that dramatic moment. Now, we at GCN cannot condone lighting flares at a bike race particularly not when it's a Dutch corner on Alpe d'Huez, which is arguably already the most chaotic stretch of road the Peloton faces all year long. <laughs> that said, it does make a fantastic photo. With Wout Poles and Richie Port guiding him through the madness, Chris Froome dug deeper than he had in all of July to defend the Mayo Jaune on the Alp. 24-year-old Tom Dumoulin was the revelation of the Vuelta a España, winning two stages and wearing the leader's jersey for six days. As the race made its way through the final week, the same question was on everyone's mind. How long can this time trial specialist hang with the pure climbers? And in the end, the answer was until the final mountain stage. Dumoulin cracked on the third of four climbs on stage 20, finishing the stage four minutes down on overall winner Fabio Aru and plummeting from first overall to sixth on the general classification. This image really captures both the effort and the disappointment of the day, and I think it's my favorite of everything Tim Davala shot in 2015. Well, choosing just one defining image from the World Road Championships in Richmond, Virginia, proved to be the most difficult and controversial among the GCN staff. However, I think this image, taken on Libby Hill, perfectly captures the ambiance of the first 
World Road Championship to be held in the United States since 1986. And a little further back in the bottom right hand corner of the frame, there's your eventual winner, Peter Sagan. So those are our top 10 Tindavala images from the 2015 road season. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. For a video on the top 10 Instagram accounts in pro cycling, just click right up here. For a video on the top five weirdest road bikes of all time, click right down here. And if you haven't already to subscribe to GCN, well, you can just click on the GCN globe right here on my chest.